Hi guys, Max Perez from Digital Octopus. Today I have a new video for you guys. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get out of this stuck on boot logo. It happens a lot to the R1 system and this usually happens when the system is updating and you turn off the radio by mistake and it doesn't finish doing the installation. It happens when you turn on a feature called fast boot. And it also tends to happen when you do an upgrade that is not compatible with your system. And also it will happen if you install apps that are not compatible with the system, you might get one of these stuck on boot logo. So with no further time to waste, let's get started and I'll show you how to do it. All right, so I have my unit here, but first I want to show you something uh, that's really important. So uh, all of these radios that you see here, the R2, the R1, uh, the uh, Pulse 300 back there, and even the CE1016 for the Chevy Equinox, they all have one thing in common, common which is our TS18 and TS10 system. As you can see in the back, they're all exactly the same. So I'm gonna pull this one out here, as you can see. And uh, this is a message here that says TS18 332 CarPlay DSP 4G. This is important, don't take that sticker off. In this case, we had a customer that for some reason didn't have the sticker off. So we're gonna figure out which model this is. Uh, just by looking at the motherboard and I'll show you guys how to do that in one second Here's the CE 1016 And this is the Pulse 300 for the Chrysler 300 as you can see it's exactly the same so uh, Even when you're doing installations uh, these are all basically the same as just different cars so if you watch one video of how to install one radio, you should be able to know how to do all of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this radio apart since we don't know what model it is. It doesn't have any stickers. I'm gonna show you how to figure that out so you can identify your radio. Okay, so we're gonna flip our radio over and uh, to see what model it is, if it doesn't have the stickers, we have to take out four screws. You're gonna need a screwdriver, the one that looks like a plus sign. So we're gonna go ahead and take out the four screws that are on the metal, not the plastic, because then that would just take off the frame. So all we want to do is take out the metal part right here, which is the back of the motherboard. Again, this is to identify what radio you have. All right, so now that we have our radio, we're just gonna carefully lift it up. Be careful because there are some wires here that may break off if you pull it up but this is as far as I need to go. In this case, we wanna find out what radio model this is and what screen. The screen we already know because Digital Octopus uses their own screen size. It's a slightly different than the ones you find on Alibaba and Amazon and eBay. So uh, we already know ours don't have a sticker here, but we know which software to give you once it is determined that it's a Digital Octopus radio. So now, what we're looking for is this sticker right here. All right, so this radio here says it's a TS18 3 plus 32, and that's all we need to know. So we know now this is a CC1015. We're the only ones who actually made this configuration, the 332 for the CC1015. So very easy to identify. Now, if you, ha you might have another version, which is 464, and uh, 6128 and they'll say it all right here. The other thing you need to see is up here where it says Topway and this is the motherboard, that's the brand. So that will tell us exactly which software we need to send you so you'll be able to reset your system. Now that we have the information we need, I'm just gonna put this system back here and I'm just gonna put my screws back because I know exactly which software to install. All right, so I put the system back together and now it's time to install the software so we can reset it. And I'm gonna show you the steps on how to do it. All right, so first what we're gonna need is 
We're going to turn this radio around so it'll be easier to see. We're going to be needing our USB, which is the one with the four or the six, doesn't matter. And we'll plug it in right on top here. I'm going to put it on the side. And next, what we're going to do is we're going to power it up. If, it, if it's already installed in the car, you don't need to do anything else. But since we're working on a bench, we have to put the fake power on. And we're going to leave it like that for now. And uh, I'll show you the next step. And as you can see here, we're still in the Android boot logo and it's stuck. So let's get the software that we need. I'm going to show you how to put it in the system, in your USB drive, how to unzip the file and eventually how to install it so we could get your system running. To get these files inside the system, we're going to need a USB stick just like this. So we're going to go ahead over to the computer. We're going to put the files in here and we'll be right back. All right, so I'm here on my computer. I have my USB, I have my file, and what I wanna do is I wanna copy over the file that's over there into the USB, but first I'm gonna make sure that it's uh, formatted to FAT32, just like that. If not, the system is not gonna read it. So make sure it's MS-DOS FAT32. So now we're gonna double click on the file and we're gonna uncompress this file. I have a software called Oka on Archiver and it is free. It's for Mac. You can also find this in Windows, maybe WinRAR or something like that. But uh, this is the one I found that it was free and I was able to use it. So I'm just waiting for it to decompress. So now that that folder is decompressed, we're going to open up that folder and we're going to grab everything that's inside that folder and we're going to put it onto the USB drive just like that right in the root file make sure there's no other files in there so there we go so my files are being copied over right now so we just gonna give it some time and while that's copying over I want to show you guys the new website for digital octopus is something we are working on right now and um, let me bring it over here and here's the website right here so you're gonna be able to let me just expand this right here so you're gonna be able to make search by make model year this one just says test because we're still working on it but here this is already working you could type in whatever car so Camaro then all the products for Camaro is gonna come up there there's gonna be Toyota there's gonna be a, a bunch of different other cars in there and a bunch of other radios so uh, let's just dive into here. These are the head units again as you can see we have Chevrolet we have Ford most of them are Camaro right now because this is what we have on our side We still have to input all these radios photo photograph everything and uh, just put them inside Let me go back here and let me show you something really cool that's gonna be on the site And if I scroll down, here we go. This is the Pulse 300 for Chrysler 300, but this is gonna be a cool feature. You're gonna be able to look at the before and after of what it looks like. So that's a pretty cool feature. We're gonna have a C7 Corvette upgrades. We're gonna have Porsche, Camaros, everything you could. And look at this, we have a uh, dash cam coming out as well down here we have our faqs testimonials um, from these awesome guys that left some awesome reviews we have product manuals firmware updates right from here everything's going to be on the website and it's going to be available to digital octopus customers only all right so here we go these are other products all right, so let's take that out the way and I'm just gonna speed up the video this way we could uh, move on and get to the other part faster. All right, I'm back. So the first thing we're gonna do is make sure we turn our radio off. In this case, your radio most likely is in the car. So just, cut, just shut the key off, take it out and we're gonna put our USB in. 
right into the USB port of the radio. You're gonna put it right here so you can see. Next, we're gonna go ahead and turn our radio over and we're gonna look for a wire that says key one that looks just like this. And this is usually a wire that's orange with a yellow stripe. It might change on some uh, models, but usually this is the color that it's used. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hold this against a metal part in the radio. I like to use either the GPS antenna or the Wi-Fi antenna. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold this here with my finger. You can hold it. It's not gonna electrocute, it's not gonna get hot. So just hold it there and you're gonna go ahead and open the switch to the car. So, all right, we are 50%, just jump and uh, it's 125, so five minutes I've passed by. I'm gonna give it uh, some more time and then I'll show you the rest of the video. And usually when it gets after 75, it just goes really fast after that. Now, as you can see, it says update end and the system will restart itself. At this point, when it reloads, just pull out your USB stick. I'm gonna put it there just so it doesn't keep rebooting, but it's not gonna happen anyway, is since you have the orange and black disconnected, so it's not gonna reboot, but we'll take it off. This first reboot is gonna take longer than usual, just because it's like the first time it's running, so it's just setting up everything inside, but after this, your system should be working. While this is happening, I just wanna mention that if uh, you are not a Digital Oct Octopus customer, you can still have this service done by us. Uh, we can supply the files, there's a fee for that, of course. If you are a Digital Octopus customer, just send the radio back to us if you, even if you're out of warranty we will service it at no fee no charge and all you have to do is pay the shipping and we will take care of it also it's very important that at this step you do not turn off your key as you can see the radio went black but it's gonna come right back so just let us do its thing let it finish if not you're gonna break it and we have to do everything all over again so there's the radio it's working fine. Like I said, uh, if there's any apps or anything missing, just contact us. We'll, we'll be happy to supply them for you, uh, such as T-Link or Z-Link. Um, and that's about it, guys. So you guys take care. Have a great day. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.